Not your usual traffic jam in Russia's Byelgorod region, as a rocket launcher pulls over to pour fire into neighboring Ukraine, causing panic across the border. What do you need to take? Let's move quicker. Let's go, says this police officer. The Russians are using new tactics here, constant ground assaults and relentless airstrikes, although not all bombs go off. Now Ukrainian troops are withdrawing from some positions near the border. For the first time in 18 months, this war is no longer a grinding stalemate. Russia has momentum, and that is fueling a sense of diplomatic urgency here in Kyiv. A two-day visit by America's Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, ended with tributes to Ukraine's war dead and another $2 billion to arm those still fighting. We're rushing ammunition, armored vehicles, missiles, air defenses, rushing them to get to the front lines, to protect soldiers, to protect civilians. And on air defenses, as Dimitro said, this is, of course, a top priority. In Moscow, with his new defense minister, a confident-sounding Vladimir Putin announced more funding for a war he thinks he's winning. All enemy counterattacks were repelled. Our troops are improving in all positions, in all directions, every day. And here are the consequences. Kherson in the south, like so many cities and towns across Ukraine, is becoming increasingly uninhabitable. Nowhere is immune to Moscow's desire to conquer its neighbour. James Waterhouse, BBC News, Kyiv.